coffee break with me. Woo! So many of you know my mom was in town and when my mom's in town, besides eating and playing with the tater, we do a lot of shopping. And when I picked her up from the airport, I was like, mom, Ulta is having their 40% off mix, uh, Neutrogena, Alme, and something else. Um, I was like, I think we need to go. And she was like, yeah, I think we, need, we do too. So she wasn't even in town for an hour before we had already raided Ulta. Um, so here's my Ulta haul. It's a little shameless. It's a little embarrassing, but you guys know that all of this is for coffee break research purposes. So the very first things that I want to share with you guys are nail products. I am wearing one of them today, and that is a new color by OPI called Significant Other Color. Um, it looks like this. Kind of it is, is uh, a duo chrome green and pink. There's nothing in there for you, Bubba. Nothing. My chihuahua's like getting all up in my bags. Um, so it's really pretty. It is one of those colors that needs like 75 coats, so I don't know if this is I don't recommend it. Another color that I got, I know it's not new, and I couldn't find it for the longest time, and I finally got my hands on it. It's Gargantuan Green Grape. Love this color, love this color. You can never have too much mint in your life. Then I picked up a Halloween nail polish called Bat My Eyes by China Glaze. It's a black polish with um, basically different size gold glitter chunks. I don't usually like glitter nail polishes, but this one's really elegant, and it's kind of my way of wearing black without Mr. Man getting, or disapproving. <laughs> Since I have been on a nail kick, um, my mom actually got me two things, and I always say, I always tell my mom, I'm like, mom, I'm so embarrassed. I don't want to say my mom bought it for me, and she's like, no, you tell them your mom bought it for you so they know that your mama still takes care of you. <laughs> so my mom bought me these sets um, that are new at, at Ulta, and I got so excited when I saw them. They're called the New Black, and they're nail kit sets. The reason I wanted these, and I was going to buy them on my own until my mama stepped in, um, is because the nail stickers in this set are stickers. They're not peel off nail polish. If you guys are familiar with the nail stickers by other brands, once you open the package, the nail sticker dries because it's real nail polish. This is an actual sticker. So it's the shape of your nail, but it is a sticker. So it's easy to apply and it's easy to remove. And if you just want to use one for an accent nail, the other ones aren't going to dry out and go bad. Um, it also comes with three nail polishes and a little jar of like jewels. <clears throat> just like that set, I got another one. Um... Did you guys hear that? <laughs> it's my noisy little shopping cart. Um, I got another set. I am obsessed, just like I collect um, coffee cups, I collect babushka dolls, those Russian dolls that stack inside one another. I don't know how to say them in English, um, but this kit is a Russian inspired kit. It comes with three nail polishes, some gems, some gems, and then some stickers that have one of those, um, some of those Russian nesting dolls. I'm not sure if you guys could see them. Let me see. You guys could see the nesting dolls there. So that was it for nail products. Um, like I told you guys, um, Ulta was having a sale on NYX products, so we did pick up several lip liners. I really like their lip liners. They remind me of Jordana lip liners, but not the Jordana lip liners you get at the drugstore, the Jordana lip liners you get at the 99 cent store. Um, I got it in the color, I got them in the color Dolly Pink, Plum, Hot Red, and Sand Pink. These are all kind of neutral colors. Um, three of them I would probably wear in the fall or winter. Uh, this Dolly Pink, probably not. It's kind of bright. But they're really pretty, um, really pretty lip liners, and they were 40% off, so you can never pass up on those. Um, I also picked up a NYX lipstick in the color Chic. And it is just a really pretty corally pink. Um, you guys know it's like my go-to lip. My favorite, I always have lipstick on my teeth. Anyway, it's my favorite color. Like a corally pink is my favorite color. 
What else did I get? Another product that was on sale um, were these two suckers, and this is the Urban Decay Sharpener. If you have trouble with your pencils breaking, especially the pencils that are like that hard wood, plasticky wood, get the Urban Decay Pencil Sharpener. It is a lifesaver. It sharpens them really well, and it doesn't break off the tip. It also comes with two barrels, so it fits two sizes of pencils. Another item that was on sale was the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. When I heard about under eye primers, I said, this is a joke. Like, how come I'm barely hearing about this? They probably don't work. If you ever have problems with your concealer streaking, smudging, breaking apart, settling in the fine lines, this under eye primer is a godsend for me. It is so amazing. I saw, um, I have a really lovely, um, I guess, friend or follower or subscriber. I actually follow her on Instagram, uh, Beauty Bargains, and she did a mini review on this on her Instagram and said it basically did nothing for her. Um, I think this is going to be one of those products that works for certain people and doesn't work for others. Almost like that Urban Decay Ozone Reverse Lip Liner that did not work for me, but it works for most people. This one worked for me. I'm wearing it today and I don't see myself ever stop using it. You guys know that I have instantly become a brand new fanatic of Jane Cosmetics. I liked them when I was growing up and now that they came back out, I've fallen in love all over again. So I decided to try two of their products that I didn't try the first time. And these are their um, liquid liners. I got it in a rose gold, a kind of bronzy gold, and a black gold. Um, I would swatch them for you, but I don't think they will show up. They are really pretty, but I haven't tested their wearability. I don't know if they would smudge or how long they last. So I will let you guys know in the future when I wear them what I think about these guys. Another thing from Jane that I picked up was the Jane Concealer. This is kind of a tricky item. It comes in three colors. This is the lightest color and you could tell it's really dark. So if you're really, 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 really fair skinned, there is no color for you, girl. This one is almost too dark for me. Um, it is, the good thing about it is that it doesn't crease and it is a salmon undertone. So it's really good at hiding the blue or purple of your under eyes if you have severe panda disease like me. Sticking with the concealer theme, another concealer that I picked up, every single time I go to the drugstore, my color is sold out. So I guess it was my lucky day. Um, I have been told to try this concealer so many times. Um, and it is the Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer Highlight in the color Light. So many girls rave about this drugstore quality concealer that it's a really good one. So I'm super excited to try this. Let me know in the comment section if you're interested in knowing my opinion on it or if it worked for me because you guys know that I suffer from panda disease. So I'm always on the hunt for a good concealer. So now I have two new options. <laughs> the other item, I'm like the other item, the other item. The next item that I picked up, I normally don't get this kind of stuff. I picked this up for a reason. I have a really sweet subscriber that requested a tutorial for a makeup look for a 13 year old, which when I got this request, I was like, this is the best request that I have ever received. I would be honored to do this tutorial for you. One, because you think that I would look like a 13 year old. And two, because I remember being that age and not knowing a clue or not having a clue about what to do or what was appropriate. So the, the fact that she values my opinion made me feel really honored and really special. So I picked up a Baby Lips for a special tutorial that I hope I can do sometime this month. If not, it will definitely be in November, but you guys know right now with Tater's sleeping schedule all off, I don't even know when I have a chance to film. Right now, it's like four o'clock, and normally, this is not even the time that I film. This is, this is totally strange. So, I got a baby lips in like a really pretty pink. 
Um, and the last two NYX items that I got, remember that was 40% off, um, a satin finish brown pencil, which I love brown pencils for the lower lash line if you have brown eyes because you could smudge it out really nicely and it doesn't look harsh. It looks really nice. And then a push up for eyebrow pencil. This has a brow pencil at the bottom and then a highlight pencil at the top. I bought this for a special reason and if you watch my Tuesday videos, you may have a slight idea why I got this one. So stay tuned for my Tuesday videos. You may see this one coming up soon. You may, I'm not sure yet. And of course, I saved the best for last. Um, if you are looking for a good gift idea for a beauty lover, um, Ulta has an excuse, exclusive Smashbox gift set that my mom and I both bought and it is a dream. It is so pretty and it is such a good idea for a gift. Or if you're like me and you just like to get gifts for yourself, then this might be something you'll enjoy too. This is the Smashbox um, Must Have Metallics in Rose Gold. They also have this set in copper, um, and it comes with an eyeshadow trio, a brush, a lip gloss, and a blush or highlight compact. When I saw the back of this box, I told my mom, if I buy this kit, it better make me look like these girls. She looks stunning. So my mom was like, oh, of course you're going to look as beautiful as her. So I was like, okay, give me three. No. <laughs> So let me show you guys what it comes with. It comes with an eyeshadow brush. I haven't used it personally, but my mom did and she said it's really good. It comes with um, an eyeshadow trio to create the perfect smoky eye. Um, the color is not black. It is actually like a chocolate brown with gold sparkle in it and then a kind of like a rosy shimmer and then a matte, a matte pale pink eyeshadow so perfect to create that kind of like smoky eye or reverse smoky eye it comes with some instructions on how to create both of those looks the prettiest pink or rose gold pink lip gloss it is not sticky it's actually quite pretty but it has sort of like a mm, orangey undertone to it it's not my favorite but on top of a lipstick obviously not on your teeth, on top of a lipstick, it would look really pretty. But the best part of this kit is the um, Fusion Soft Light, that's what it's called. So you could basically use it as a highlight, a face powder, or a blush. For me personally, I would probably use it on top of a blush or as a highlight. And it looks like this. It has a twist off cap, which is really unique. I kind of like products that have this. It makes me feel more safe, I don't know. Maybe it's more of an inconvenience in case you lose it. But if you guys can tell, it has a deeper mauve pink, a classic pink, and then a pale pink. Um, so if you focus on this area right here, it would look really pretty on top of a blush. I think if you use it alone, it would be too, too hooker shimmer status. But it's still a really pretty color. Um, if you guys can tell, it's such a pretty shimmery pink. Um, you can't really see it on the bottom of my wrist, but um, it's just so beautiful. It's a pretty, pretty blush topper or a highlight. Um, I think this set was less than $40. I don't remember exactly, but it was definitely worth it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have, you know, you know, you know how I am. I don't just spend money crazy. I always make sure there's a good deal involved. <laughs> Um, and I think that's it. That is it for my Ulta haul. I was, I was so happy that my mom came to visit. I was so happy that we could shop together. And I was really happy that we were able to discover so many awesome products together. So if you want to see any reviews, first impressions, uh, or just basically care about my opinion on any of these products, please let me know in the comment section below. And I think that's it. Until next time, guys, this coffee break is over. Bye.